Okay. Let's do this. Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome. Today we are going to be doing the Lil Nas X Panini Hologram Text Whatever effect. It's kind of a mouthful, but we're just going to get into this. Pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to make this. So as you can see, it's just some holographic text spinning around me and yeah, that's it. So all you're going to need is you're going to need one picture of this something and then one where the subject is isolated. So you can do this in, you can do it in After Effects. I did it in Photoshop just because it's quicker and easier. New composition. Um, I put in this 1080 by 350, 1350 and that gave me 4x5 because I want to post this on the gram. So that's the aspect ratio I'm going to use. 10 seconds because we won't want it to be too long. We're going to go down here, drag both of these in here. Now you can see it's kind of scaled in because these are big pictures. So we're just going to go scale. We're going to go 27%. Okay, so we're going to hide this bottom layer. Go to the text tool. We're going to drag a little box. And we are going to put uh, our at. We're going to change the color and let's go like a purple pink. And the first effect we are going to use is the cc cylinder effect drag that onto our text you want to drop down position we're going to move the y we're going to move it down maybe like here we're going to go and hit outside so that's going to make it only half now you guys can see it's not moving so what we have to do is we have to go to the beginning we have to go into rotation and hit keyframe that so we want to set that to zero, go all the way to the end and make this little 3x. Uh, we're going to go all the way down here and make sure that our keyframe is right at the end. Now the next effect, the glow. Drag it on to our layer. We're going to reduce the threshold to 40 and intensity we're going to put it at 8. This, the radius, is where you can make it glow. Let's go 135. Next effect turbulent displace now you can see it made it warpy we don't want that we want horizontal displacement only that'll give us a little glitch so we're gonna go 10 and size we're gonna go 5 then we want to animate this as well keyframe set to 0 go to the end keyframe and we're gonna do 4 next effect is bad TV this is where it all starts to come together bad TV will add a bunch of different effects and as you can see we have a nice little hologram coming along we're just gonna go here and we'll just hide that for now the next effect that we are going to do is the opacity flash now what this does is it makes it you know it makes it flash a little bit but the issue there is we don't want it to flash all the way pitch black so we can go in here and change this zero to a 60 what that does is it changes the lowest opacity point so basically it won't go below 60. one of the last effects we want to do don't have to do it i'm going to do it because it adds a little bit to the final product we're going to go mosaic now you can see mosaic it makes a mosaic and we are going to animate this we're going to set that one and one that's the lowest it goes then we want to go not a full second but a little bit less than a second and we want to do 40. Now we have a little bit of that. And then right after the half second, we're gonna go all the way to 4,000. 4,000, there we go. Now you can see it's crisp. That's the highest it goes. So we are set back to normal. Now we have this little animation introduction thing, which is really cool. What we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this, move all the way to the end, go here, and paste that don't forget the order and we're just going to change the order of that like so now it's reversed and then we can just put that right at the end and what that'll do is the same thing it will fade out now we go back to our main comp we're gonna minimize that so now we have these two images we're gonna go here Control D to duplicate, drag that layer down. We're gonna go up to render. So render, we're gonna do inside now. Unsee that one, 
unsee that one as well. And we're going to take our position Z and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. That's good. 390. So you want to do the same thing for this one. And so that is the effect. Once you're done, we're going to go composition, add to media render queue. Once this is done rendering, I'm going to jump into Premiere. I'm going to add a glitch at the end and the beginning and music to go along with it. And then we're done and we're ready to post. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in another one. Peace.